Welcome all to the memorial service slash freezing for Donald H. Guys. You were the last of a dying breed, sir. I'll never forget the first thing he ever said to me. These are all hookers. Pick one. Then after we picked our hookers and the plane took off, he told me his business philosophy. There's always an untapped market. Don was the one who realized there was a whole segment of consumers not buying light bulbs. The asleep. That realization led him to develop the night light and the marketing campaign aimed at making children afraid of the dark, a monster under every bed. Don said that no business is ever done evolving, that there are always opportunities for innovation, that you can always you can always find new customers. I, I, I'm sorry, but I just had an amazing business idea. You'll have to excuse me. I know it's not my place yet to call a meeting of Cable Town Senior Vice Presidents, but I have something I need to share with you. Gentlemen, there is a giant segment of consumers who are not buying our most lucrative product. Three words. Porn for women. Jack, women hate porn almost as much as men hate going to outlet malls. Yes, women hate porn. Our porn. But women do have one insatiable need to jabber. And it doesn't matter if you have a headache, or you're not in the mood, or you're about to go to Don Geis' funeral, they barge right into your office and start complaining about a boyfriend or a co-worker, and you're supposed to sit there and nod and tell them they're right. And the more you give it to them, the more they want it. I'll tell you, sometimes my wife will be blathering on about something, and I'll think, I'm more than just a pair of ears, you know? I'm a person who thinks about sex every seven seconds. Exactly. So what if women had a pay-per-view channel featuring handsome men patiently listening to them? What if they had Porn for women. Okay, but where does that content come from? From us. We make it. Jack, we, we don't make it. Hear me out. Yes, I'm talking about doubling pay-per-view profits while cutting out the middleman, but I'm also talking about American businessmen doing what they were born to do, make things. We've stopped making and become a country of consumers. Well, I, for one, am done consuming. And I'm ready to make.